Hi guys, hopefully we're actually live. Welcome to, <laughs> <laughs> I never really know. It says you're live when you're not live. And welcome to the Crystal Crawford Show. I am Crystal Crawford and this is my guest today who you can't see yet, I'm changing that. <laughs> Hello. This is, this is Miss Saskia Schulte. Am I saying that right? That was sort yes. of like it. <laughs> <laughs> and her body. Yes, and her body. They both came today. And um, we are, hold on. Oh, wait, you can't. I, anyway, I know what I'm doing. So today's topic is your body's not the problem, you are. And I just got back from Mexico. And I don't know if I've ever seen so many unhappy bodies in one beautiful place ever. <laughs> and that's kind of what sparked this conversation. Um, and also I did, hi, Kathy. Hi, Hannah. Um, I, I did this sale in my shop and the class that got the most clicks and the class that was downloaded the most was clearing the body judgment. And so I was, it was so funny. I was just passing around today on Facebook and doing my thing. And um, Saskia and I are in the same business class right now with Shannon. And I was like, hey, do you want to come talk about bodies with me? Because I don't know how many of you guys know Saskia, but she lives in Germany. She's brilliant at so many different things. She's a writer. She's an editor. She's a creator of all the things she's she's worked in the back end and she promotes and she does all this stuff but on top of that like she's she's one of the most joyful people that i know with her body and according to this reality saskia you're not supposed to be joyful in your body <laughs> no i i get a lot of messages uh, on the facebook messenger from people who are like yeah you want to diet right because you're unhappy and i'm like yeah <laughs> did you watch my videos or anything what are you not getting right <laughs> it's very funny well, did you did you start i mean this I'm, this is going to sound like ridiculous questions but i'm asking this from a place of like i spent my entire life as a barely thin person completely and all the time judging my body so did you start out as a non-judgmental person about your body was this so can you talk a little bit about no. your story in this area yeah. okay yeah. so so i'm i'm really i'm uh, whoops <laughs> My, my belly Hello. <laughs> so, you, you know there's some body there yes. there's a big body there <laughs> with a belly so um and i think i got overweight when i was 12 or some something yeah and i hated myself i i hated myself every day and when I gained more weight, I hated myself even more. And I, then I lost weight and I was like, ah, and I got depressed. And then I gained weight again and all this shit and shit and shit and shit. And it's, I think it was three and a half years ago or something, three years ago, 2015. Yeah, it was after, after an access class. <laughs> I, I was naked in my flat running around <laughs> with this body and there was a mirror and I was like, who? What, what's happening? What's happening? I was seeing myself in the mirror and not judging myself for the first time. Wow. I was really like, oh, hi, body. <laughs> and I was seeing it. I mean, all the fat, you know, and there's a big scar on, on the belly. And there are the, <laughs> all of these body parts that are like cellulite or what's the English yeah, word? You know, <laughs> like, they're, they're like, woo, 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 like the moon. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh, my God. Hi. Hi, you. And I have parts of my body that are not um, symmetric because yeah. there's fat and there's a scar and there's all that that stuff. And I was like, oh, my God, if I don't judge it, it's just a body. It's just a body and it's not perfect. And that's somehow it was beautiful in this not not perfection. I was like, oh, my God, that's just it. <laughs> what What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? it's just a body it was like i have had a, a huge glasses all on me like like a filter yeah. of judgment on, over my eyes all the time and it was just gone and i was like oh, oh my god it's just a body hi well, <laughs> one, was, of, one of the biggest awarenesses i yeah. had after, i mean this is through going through, through you know the, i've been to a lot of classes you've been to a lot of access classes so we've done a lot of work yeah but some of the things I find so amazing about access is one, it, it does also seem to kind of change things as if by magic in the sense of one day I woke up and I, my eyes were just different. And I remember, <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, being in Costa Rica with 
at, what, at one of my first kind of tropical access classes where bathing suits weren't required, but probably a good idea because everybody was in the pool. It sounded fun. And, uh, and being in one and looking around and going, I, I don't have judgment about anybody's body. Like, I think all these bodies are beautiful. And so that was one of the first moments where I looked at my body and I'm like, well, what if you were that way with your body? And it was one of those, there was a few pivotal moments for me with, that started kind of unraveling literally like this jail of judgment that I, I just grew up in. Like that was our, uh, every oh, single yeah. conversation that we had around my kitchen table or in the, in my family was around weight, weight loss, weight watchers, oh, uh, diet pop, watching your calories, working out every single conversation we had practically was around that. Yeah. And uh, so to, to come just come away from that and actually just choose no judgment on a daily and minute by minute basis and also just let it melt away was so 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 different you have time to do other th other things you know? <laughs> like what? how much energy and time are we putting on our bodies to make them wrong to try to change them to try to force them to change and shit like that instead of just being fucking happy with them and if it's time to change maybe even i will change my body i don't know but it's like oh my god how much how much pressure did i put on me all these years over years over years and and for this reality i'm a crazy person right because if you're heavily overweight <laughs> you have a problem <laughs> big problem you're delusional big you big are problem. You, it's huge like that's you're not supposed to you're just not allowed you're not allowed to have <laughs> <laughs> that's all <laughs> you have to see that you have a problem because if you don't see it there's something wrong with you i mean can't you see that and i'm like yeah usually i don't fit into the boxes you try to put in me in you know no like, i literally don't fit <laughs> i don't fit it's not possible anymore it's too late i'm sorry <laughs> so you, like if you were do you give like do you have conversations about weight with other people do you give people tools that they can start to use to unlock themselves from what are some of the first ones that you would talk about really really there, there are so many i think there's some sort of lies that are put on on us like like a million, like how <laughs> the body is supposed to be. And, and the biggest lie is the biggest, the biggest fucking lie is all this diet, dieting industry. Yeah. They tell you, if you lose weight, then you will be happy. Then you will be attractive and then you will have a man and then you will have success and all that shit. And I, I had lost weight once and I, or twice. <laughs> there was nothing coming because I was fucking unhappy. If I was slim, if I was big, I was fucking unhappy and it didn't change anything, but they, they are putting it like, yeah, you have to lose weight. And then it's like, <laughs> and then you can be happy. Well, it's the same with money. Yeah. Like once you get money, yeah. once you get to this level of success, you're going to be happy. And this thing of happiness is just a choice is probably the most unpopular conversation ever. But it's one of those things that I've seen you choose over and over and over and over. Even when you choose unhappiness temporarily, you go back to choosing to be happy. Uh, what's yeah. your trick? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> What's your hack to being happy, Saskia? Yeah, yeah stopping this shit. <laughs> like, stop okay. it. <laughs> like, okay, this morning I was grumpy, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like grumpy. Like, uh, I mean, I live in Germany. Who, who does this belong to? <laughs> so, okay, I want to point out that that is tool number one. Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? And if I get that I'm starting to look at my body with judgment, I always ask this because it cannot be mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes people have such harsh judgments. It really, it's like, it's like they are, poof, they are throwing it at you. And I'm like, okay, can I soften and just let it go through? And like, wow, this person has a huge amount of judgment for my body. So and you don't I'm, go to making yourself wrong for that anymore. You don't perceive the judgment in their world and make you wrong. That's key. Sometimes the a short moment it's like what what is this what i'm irritated and I'm like what 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 what, what? <laughs> and i'm like where's this coming from and then usually i, I even get to know or people are like whoa <laughs> i mean it, i'm in grumpy town they're like whoa they make it they make noise if they see me sometimes like whoa right. <laughs> well you can you how tall are you you're in in american terms are you six foot 
I don't know, 180 like, meters. I don't know. <laughs> very tall. And I'm also, tall. and bit, so you're just, and you have a massive personality. So, like, you don't blend. <laughs> yeah. I, I cannot hide. No. <laughs> not possible and it's 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 really like like um um once i had an amazing experience once when somebody was putting an intense judgment on me mm. and i was asking my body hey body do you have a problem with that and my body doesn't have any problem it's energy my body was like oh this is nurturing wow touch me blah, blah. you know <laughs> like this. can i stop you right there because how <laughs> so when so the thing that i find a lot of us do is that we become aware of judgment in other people's worlds and we do two things one we go to judgment of ourselves immediately we buy it and we think they wouldn't be judging us if they if there wasn't something right about that and two we maybe that's the one thing <laughs> We don't receive the energy we like avoid it so we go around trying not to receive judgment and what you're talking about is so so different so like how would somebody even do what you're talking about what is the okay. what's that process so so for example oh, this moment when I, when i got this it it was somebody was driving by with a car yeah. and was saying something like fat pig or something really mean something really mean and i was like whoa and then for the first time, I was like, okay, let's try this tool. It was really in the beginning of exercise. There is a tool, it's called barriers down. I was like, ah, let's try this now because there's something heavy coming in my face. Yeah. I'm like, oh, let's try this. It was like, okay, barriers down, barriers down. Let it go through. And my body was so excited, like, oh, so much energy. <laughs> we got judged. <laughs> it was like an interesting reaction because I was like oh poor body are you hurt are you like are you disappointed that people don't like you and my body was like oh energy <laughs> and this was like my body is not taking this for serious but you do something really interesting in that you talk to your body and you listen to it yeah. So that's yeah. not normal. I just want to point that out. And oh, I'll, not normal. <laughs> for all of you guys watching this, that is a possibility that you can start doing even right this minute is you can actually start talking to your body. And Saskia, you do that way more than I even do that. I'll go into my head first and then use my tools and then remember that I have a body and that, oh yeah, I can put my bear. Like for me, it's so opposite. Like I'm, I get trapped up here a lot. Um, but my body is so cool. She can create so much. That's so awesome. And for all of you guys watching, like this is, this is actually what's capable with your body with, and something that I continue to explore and continue to get is like, my body has these capacities for receiving, for being, for just knowing. If I ask it questions, it will actually give me information. If I don't ask it questions, it will still probably sometimes give me information. Um, I never knew that my body was, uh, not only just a tool, but like this gift it could be a gift to me with all of the different energies that we become aware of. Crystal, uh, Crystal, we couldn't have sex without a body. I know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we could have it in, in, in some... I know. So I was in Mexico last week and I cannot tell you, in addition to being aware of the unhappy bodies, the other thing that was so different with this trip is there were so many times I was eating something, I was having sex. I was like, I would not be able to do this if I didn't have a body. I was like so tickled that I had chosen to have a body. And it's one of the first times in my life where I really started to acknowledge I chose to have a body. I would judge this body for what reason? I chose this body. I chose this shape. I chose this what? And so the, the sheer delight and like being able to have anyway. So will you talk about your sex <laughs> life, please? Because you're. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're... <laughs> <laughs> Other people who are judging their bodies and say, I cannot show this naked. Let me I, tell you, <laughs> you can. <laughs> and, and listen, the way I, yeah. I remember so we had a few conversations about dating and yeah. you have more men, if you want them, <laughs> than anybody that I've ever met. And again, with that, that shouldn't be the case. And I can't tell you like how many times I've stopped myself from dating anybody because my stomach pooched out a, min a, a millimeter, you know? Um, that, I'm over that now. That's like way in the past. But <laughs> what, how? Tell me more. Like, what is going on with you and dating? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 I found out that there are men who like it, and and I was like, cool. Where are they? And I found sources of men who like it, and, <laughs> and uh, especially in the internet, for example. So, if you're really overweight, I I like it if men like my body. So I don't that's like so if people, it doesn't turn me on if people judge my body. I know that some people are turned on by 
being called something like whoa slut or shit or i don't know i i don't <laughs> i'm like mm, precious you know yeah. <laughs> and there are men they are like <laughs> i had a whatsapp conversation with a guy and she, he was like can i know your weight and usually it's like oh you know like oh now we are coming into a scary conversation or something and i was like i don't know i don't do that thing with but i might it might be 150 kilos or something and he was like oh that's good because under 120 i never had a girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> and i was like this is my reality bitches <laughs> you well, know? I, stephanie my friend stephanie said once she's like somewhere out there there is a person who has a fetish for your face <laughs> like but i just i just translated that to everything and i was like oh yeah. and and gary so there's a hundred at least 127 people for every bun of you out there that would work for you and he's like doesn't matter what you weigh doesn't matter what your judgments of your body are like and i was i just i mean you know, with those two things i was like wow how much we've limited ourselves to what we think we should show up as before we can actually have any fun so you don't have any leave the light on you know <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that you have sex? Is that what you're telling me? I I had sex this weekend. <laughs> I had a stallion in, in my in my, <laughs> and he was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had fun. I had fun. So so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's what's the, what's the problem? So so if he wouldn't like it. I think usually you know if a man doesn't like so how do you know like how do you know because I know you've been with men that don't like your body that have judged you so what's yeah what do you do like what do you what do you use now as aware like how does that work for you becoming aware of who will be kind so usually it's um you know <laughs> and and usually they are not in in some places where you were you're looking for for bigger persons for right. bigger bodies so I'm I'm on on stuff where they're looking for it because if they look they're looking for it they're like <laughs> and but sometimes even men who like every kind of woman there are some men they don't care about the body they are they don't have a judgment about big ones slim ones <laughs> they're yeah. just like oh woman yeah mm, well, you know, <laughs> <That's> you know? <laughs> they exist <laughs> so <laughs> and um yeah usually you you get to know if you I think it's how a man is talking about bodies. So usually I'm I'm listening <laughs> or I'm reading what they are. And and if they are you get if there's a kindness in there or if there's a body liking in there or if there's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, I, I want to get something out of it. And yeah. Well, for me it was I have to. I, I, I get more of a sense now. There was a long time where I had to use the five questions that Gary gave us. Will it be, will it be fun? Yes or no. Will it be easy? Yes or no. Will I be grateful after? Yes or no. Will I be happier after? Will it make me money? Those five questions. Um, because I would get so carried away and I would just get horny and have a couple yeah. of drinks and, you What's know, the problem? <laughs> I want to have I sex. <laughs> Once I'm horny, I forget to ask questions, you know? Yeah. But, but you, I mean, how, how can I explain this? So maybe I, I didn't have a man who doesn't like my body for a long time. So know, really, it's, been a while for me. it's really like, I, I, I think he wouldn't even, I wouldn't have even a date with him because I would know from before that. So, so, I mean, um, the other thing I find people have, I, seem to have yeah. struggle with is like once, you know, once they do discover that there was somebody that does judge their body of actually going bye-bye like next of really actually truly knowing that there's anything that you're willing to ask for you can receive and that you don't have to be any kind of way to to have it it's like what do you no. want, you what do you want to ask for what do you want to have that goes beyond what anybody fucking tells you is possible yeah, yeah. And, and it's so funny if people who are much much slimmer than me mostly women they're like eh, this and that and i'm like i don't even see that shit <laughs> Where, where where is that thing that's wrong like what what the fuck i really have to make an effort to see this <laughs> the way they judge thingy, themselves like, this thing what that they think is what, wrong. what 
in, in what reality do I have to buy myself into to to perceive that? What what is this? Like, uh, it's very funny. Kathy's asking that. a question. Kathy's going when asking my body's questions. I get caught up in is this my body speaking to me or my mind? What can I be or do to discern if it's my body or my mind? Just... Is it yummy? <laughs> If it's blah blah, it's the mind, and if it's like huh, it's the body, it's not in in words. Maybe <laughs> if I ask my body, "What do you want to wear?" It's mostly looking at something, like huh. It's more like oh, yummy, <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, you want to wear this shirt? <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> my like body instantly box. knows, like it salivates, it moves towards it, it uh, it gets excited. Um, I get damp. Uh, there's all kinds of things that happen. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, why is my body flirting right now with this guy? And I perceive, oh, maybe we shouldn't do that. But my body is already, somebody was asking me for, where is this place? And my body already had her boobs in the car. <laughs> like, what's going on here? She was like, huh, he likes me. And I was like, what? This young guy of 20? And he was like, ha, ha, ha. I was like, body, where are the boobs? <laughs> where, where are you going already like very funny if you let your body go loose <laughs> you can have amazing adventures so what don't... i would invite you guys to run this is a clearing from access consciousness is what energy space and consciousness can be and my body be to be out of control out of definition out of linearity out of concentricity out of form and structure and out of limitation i might have said that twice for all eternity and everything that doesn't allow that to show up, right, wrong, give up, pop, all in shorts, boys and beyonds. And that's the clearing statement. You can go to that website if you don't know what that is. Um, Kathy, yeah, don't do it. You could yeah. be happy. But, Stop you know, I, for, I happen to know Kathy is a master head tripper. And I happen to recognize it because I am also. Uh, and so if you guys out there that are master head trippers, asking your body might be more different for you than it is for others like Saskia, who seems to have a lot of bees asking her body. <laughs> but Stop that masturbating. Thing, yeah, <laughs> yes. Ta so, tell me more. Stop masturbating. No, it was like, so if you masturbate in your mind, it's not that pleasurable, you know, you can start masturbating. That is a good life. point. Yeah, masturbating <laughs> is way better when you actually put skin on skin yep. or something on skin. <laughs> You're getting so naughty. <laughs> How did this happen? I know. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Look, my neck is red. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I was like, are you in the Bible belt? Will they will they put you on some fire afterwards? No. Actually, <laughs> the video is, is Facebook's algorithm interrupts. They can't actually track all the video. Does anybody have any questions for us about body stuff, about judgment, about fun stuff, about any questions about intensities? Saskia, do you... Um, does your body ever get intense in ways like do you does your back can you talk about what you what you do and be with that when your body kind of seizes up or does something yeah I'm I'm working on that <laughs> well talk about that because you do like I'm not this is one of those areas where I'm not epic I'm I'm not too so so <laughs> so sometimes I'm really like okay what what's going on body what what can can I can I help you <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's amazing so so I had I have these stones in the gallbladder and with this I can talk with my body amazingly it's like how long will it last do you need something do you need this do you need that and body is very clear and uh, I asked my body to get off rid of them naturally so <laughs> we are on that and I lost one a week ago or something and it's like yeah it, it, my first really intense thing I was like okay body do you need to go to hospital body truth do you need water do you need tea truth do you so need when you, a, when, we, when you ask yeah. these questions you just do yes no it's just yeah. you require this yes no and you go with whatever pops yeah kathy this is the yeah. other thing that i find makes asking body asking your body questions a lot easier is you takes you out of computation you just go truth blah 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 yes or no and you go with whatever pops and that's your knowing the instantaneous response is always knowing yeah and it even told me how long for the first time it was I mean, it was not even a year in access and I I was like shit usually I would have gone to a hospital or something and I if my body would have said yes I would have gone so it's really like body what is this 
do I need a doctor? Do, do I need this? What is this? Okay, this is this. <laughs> okay, how long will it take? And I, I wanted to meet friends the next day and the body was like, yeah, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. <laughs> I'm done. And I was like, okay, at 12, I will meet my friends. This will work. <laughs> and it was like 10 o'clock, it was over. Wow. So it was like, fuck, I can get so many informations from my body, but it's not always working. I'm really, I think this is a journey. So I had a lot of back pain and stuff where I didn't really get clear on. Mm -hmm. It's it's gone now, anyways. But I'm like, pff, sometimes I'm really like, I have to I have to find more more different ways to to communicate with my body. Sometimes it's not that clear. Sometimes it's very like this this this. Yeah, I think we are all on a journey. It's not it's not. Yeah, like, no, right? and I'm glad. I just wanted to talk about it with you because I got the same thing was true for you in that in that way. Um, somebody's asking what do you do with a broken part of your body the one mm -hmm. thing i would say is that access has so many different body processes like cellular memory is one of the body processes and zero sum of trauma i would get yourself to a three-day body class and for all of you guys that are sort of new to access um there's well, a yeah. few few prerequisites to the three-day body class bars bars is the first uh, foundation is the second and then the three-day body class but that three-day body class for me was was a massive i only took it because i had to i didn't care about i mean i really my body was such a non-thing for me i'm 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 so impressed that i'm still here <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> but uh, i went to two body classes and an advanced body class because i had to do that to get to a maestro class and i came away a completely different person i didn't even know I didn't even know you could have awareness with your body. There was so much no feeling in my body. It was kind of like my cells were numb. And I had a really, you know, and Saskia, I know you did too. Like I had a lot of abuse in my childhood and there was a lot of just, I lived in a judgmental house, like, like projected judgment at me, criticism. And, you know, so anyway, all that stuff, especially when you try to understand it gets all locked up in your body. And then if you break something or you injure something, then your body just, we tend to bring it back over and over and over and recreate it without knowing that we're doing it. So there's a lot of tools in access that address it from all the different angles, from the verbal processing to the body processes, to bars, to just being in class for six or seven days. Um, and you've done that, cool. Well, I would just ask, ask your body, ask your body, body, what do you require? And start getting curious. This has been the biggest thing for me and my body. For about the last two and a half years, I had pretty consistent headaches. And um, I, I got them most significantly when I was up in Vancouver and down in Mexico, I, I attributed them to alcohol up in Vancouver. And then I started asking different questions because that wasn't changing it. And I wasn't, I'd not drink and I'd still get a headache. Anyway, I went down to Mexico, which is so Vancouver's up here, Mexico's all the way down here. And I drank more than I've ever drank before and I didn't get one headache. And so there's also these different things that your body becomes aware of with the earth and things your body's doing with that, that if you go to conclusion about it, then you can't actually have the awareness of what it is that would change it. There's other things you can ask about, like, um, am I using this to prove anything? It's a great question. Um, is somebody stabbing me in the back? But generally speaking, just getting curious about it. Like, what is this? What can I do with it? Can I change it? And if so, how would be like the, 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 the first place to function from with any of this yeah and 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 maybe also with the i don't know if it's only for the broken leg lady or <laughs> for everybody like what is my body trying to gift me here that's a great question what what's what's your body trying to to give to you what we are not receiving maybe an awareness or information and sometimes i'm like shit my body wants to tell me something and i'm not getting it like body please i'm i'm so stupid <laughs> tell me we are really what's, going, what's going on and and <laughs> like ooh, what's 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 this and <laughs> so and sometimes i i when i hear people that they ha have injuries or something and afterwards they had two or three weeks off and they started to to quit their jobs or, or whatever and it's like the body gifted them this space and they're like oh the bad body it broke its leg <laughs> and then maybe it's like but I created this because you wanted it. <laughs> and then like, it's always, the body's always the bad one. And like, blame, we are blaming the body. But Oh man, I just had a whole year <laughs> and a half of chronic stuff in a, in a relationship that it, my body was trying to tell me for a year and a half that I just didn't mm. listen to. And I'm like, mm. and so that just gave, and so finally listening to it gave me so much information about 
about so many things, really more about my body and the gift that it is to me constantly. If I'm willing to hear it, if I'm willing to actually choose, if me, the being, the stubborn, you know, is actually <laughs> willing to choose. You're so that, stupid. Oh, it's so <laughs> we, we, we are. And, and um, it's... <laughs> It's so amazing that, and, and the, the funny thing is actually, I mean, we created our bodies. Everybody who's like, my body's not losing weight, the bad, bad body. I'm like, who's creating this? We, I have created my body being that fat. Yeah, it's totally light. It's totally light to say that. So it's true. So, yeah. and what, whatever, and what's the gift in that? And if you're getting what the gift is in this, size or in this broken leg or whatever maybe it's easier to to go with it <laughs> through the world for example um if i wouldn't be that fat i always have women in my classes that are overweight and they are not trusting any slim person anymore that wants to sell them anything or they don't try to sh they are too afraid to show up in other people's classes or anywhere in the world And, and this is the inspiration that's in that. And, and maybe this is the gift with your body, whatever your body has. I don't know. What's the gift? Yeah, I love that. What's what if you didn't gift? judge it? What if you didn't judge it could be the biggest gift, that you're one of the biggest gifts that you've created so far. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for that. I don't want to stop talking. We're like at 30 minutes. So like, let's just keep going. We might have to do a call, Saskia. Um, We might. <laughs> like Betty says, what about things that have been labeled as genetic? <laughs> sorry <laughs> your response <laughs> yeah you can buy the label that can you talk about that yeah go to body class, go to body this, class. yeah well, anything and, and, that's a label like I, i'll tell you and then i anything that's a label is is a definition and and then you've got to look i mean the first tool of access consciousness is hey what's light for you is true for you and what's heavy is a lie so if the label is light cool then maybe that's an awareness you can ask, is this a label or an awareness? Um, if it's heavy, then it's a lie. And there's so many things, I mean, I, I, you know, doesn't, I have friends that aren't in access consciousness and don't play with these tools and, and really don't have an interest in being, having that awareness and they just go with the label and their bodies will rebel at some point with the medication or, you know, it just, it won't actually, it, it doesn't actually work. It doesn't, act, when you don't address or look at the energy of a thing, And, and actually get the information from it. You can't, you can't change it. Uh, so what were you going to say about? Yeah. Yeah. If it's genetic, you don't have choice. You know, it's like you, I mean, I had a very uh, huge grandmother and a grand grandmother from mm -hmm. the other side of the family that were both like really big women. So you could say, oh, maybe it's genetic, <laughs> but maybe I'm mimicking them. Maybe it's nothing of that. Yeah, we don't know. What if we ask a question? Hey, is this genetic? <laughs> or, yes or no? And can I change it? it? Even if it's genetic, if can I change it? So there, there has been a study somewhere that the genetics is also coming from what you what you have in your life. So the genetics will change. And I don't I don't know the name of this study. And it was like shit. If this is possible if you're adopted child and you you change your genetics or something then we can change the genetics all the time it's a capacity of totally i think we just buy all the time that things can't change like if it's yeah. genetic we're fucked if it's this if my mom had bipolar i have to of course i have it instead of yeah. and one of the things i look at and then we'll, <laughs> we'll go over and then we'll wrap up but is like if if i do keep looking at something as a problem like if i do keep looking at my body as a problem instead of actually beginning to get curious about what gift is this um i just start to wonder am i am i actually committed to changing anything or am, is the problem that i'm having as my body is that really working for me and that's another way that you can start flipping this stuff on its head of going hey am i really just like kind of committed to this thing am i committed to this being genetic am i committed to being ugly you know which is kind of a weird thing but that started to give me a lot of freedom too of like okay so what if this was a gift as i started to acknowledge yes i really like having this thing as a problem then i was like <laughs> well, maybe i don't have a problem <laughs> it's a way you can trick yourself into into getting out of judgment of yourself because for me that's been the thing that's allowed anything to change Yeah. And what if your body is not somebody who has to deliver the results you would like to have from it? 
what if the, your body is your friend? And are you asking your friends like, you have to change now, you have to lose weight. And every friend would be like, fuck you. Tell that friend to fuck off immediately. Yeah. That and our bodies, <laughs> our bodies are very nice to us. <laughs> they are not unfriending us. So, so they don't have to deliver any result. Mm. They, what if we have to <laughs> really acknowledge the gift? I love you so much. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it might be too much fun. You might have too much sex. You might be have too much oh, money. Yeah. We haven't talked about bodies and money yet, Saskia. Mm. Anyway, thank you guys for being live with us. We could, um, we could go on all day <laughs> and we just yeah. might later. Uh, but if you got anything out of this, would you share it so that people can just find it and get maybe find some tools or some inspiration to not just like what would it be like if we all started contributing even more to the space that our bodies could be for us you know like to the joy that's actually possible to the too much sex too much fun <laughs> too much too much too much too much <laughs> anyway i adore you saskia and can they find you anywhere do you have a do you have a website i i am on facebook okay cool and i'm i'm just here on facebook okay cool. I I will have a website. I'm I'm on this. Awesome. <laughs> the, my body will be on it. All yes, on. awesome. Okay, cool, you guys. <laughs> and uh, we adore you. And we'll see you next week on the Crystal Crawford Show. Bye for now. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>